Number 11 then from the 2018 SQA Advanced Higher Mathematics of Mechanics. Six mark question in three parts. Vectors. Relative motions by the looks of it. At a certain time, 0800 hours. Boat A is at this position and boat B is at this position relative to some port as the origin. Six minutes later at 806, their positions are here. They seem to be heading towards each other. First part, just for two marks, show that the average velocities of these two boats can be expressed as these two vectors. Now the vectors just mean that you've got two independent motions combined into one. So you could do it that way, you could think of their motions in the x direction, just using the normal linear equations for speed. Speed equals distance over time. Get the x speed and get the y speed and put them back into a vector. Or you could just use vectors in the first place because they hold them both together in the one quantity. So just as with a scalar movement, you would write this. If it was a vector movement, you would say the velocity vector would be the, d means the difference in the distance, would be the difference in the position of the point divided by the time it took to undergo that displacement there. So it's this displacement here, how long did that take for VA? So for the first one, for A, what is the difference in the position vector in A over that period of time? Well, that will be R A dashed minus R A. Now I'm not going to specify them all because there's only one mark overall. I'm just going to take it by looking at them. The X component went from 1.2 to 6, so that was 4.8. Eight i. The y component went from 1.6 to 3, so that's a plus 1.4 j. Similarly for the change in the position vector of b. That would have been r b dashed minus wherever it was before. I'm not going to write them all down, just do it by inspection. 34.8 to 34 is actually a negative 0.8i. And for the y components, 1 to 2.5, so that's a plus 1.5j. Quite a bit of stuff to write down here for this first mark. So what are the speeds then? So VA will be the displacement divided by the time. Now it was 6 minutes but you need to have that in hours because you want kilometers per hour. So that's a six minutes is a tenth of an hour. So it will be the displacement delta RA divided by, or I could put over here, divided by a tenth. Because divided by a tenth is 10 times it. So VA is going to be 10 times that. I don't know how much work I need to put down just for this single mark. So that's just going to make it 48I plus 14J. Similarly, I think you can just state this one since it's the same time, VB will have to be 10 delta RB, which will be negative 8I plus 15J. That's the second mark. So part B now, well there's two parts to part B, part B1. For three marks, assuming that each boat maintains a constant velocity, show they're on a collision course. So, you have to show if they keep on going like that at constant speed, they're going to collide at some point or other. Well, there's a couple of ways of doing that. One way would just be to show that if you track their position by their position vectors, that at a certain time they'll both be at the same point. So how do you find the position at any point? point along the line, well, obviously there'll be a parameter t. So for boat A, I can give its position RA will be wherever it started from, I'll call that R0, plus however far it moves in that given time, so that will be t lots of VA. Similarly for B, how can you find the position of P from the origin? How can you find its position at a certain time? Well, it will be where it started, so that's R0, I'll call that. Maybe that should be A0 and B0. Plus, 
add on the velocity vector, the other movement, plus t lots of vb. Now you're only going to get one mark for working this all out. So that means you've got, and of course now I don't need to stick with the ij business, I could go with the component form here if it's going to take up less ink in the page. I just had to do that in part A because that's the way the result was expressed. So maybe I'll just switch to this now. So it started off at 1.2, 1.6, and I want to add on t lots of, and the velocity vector is 48, 14. Just to do that part of it, maybe I'll put it back to this. No, I'm just going to leave it in this form. Which gives me altogether this little expression, 1.2 plus 48t and 1.6 plus 14t for the position of A at any given time. Which is, those are the parametric equations of that line in two dimensions. And this one, R0 was 34.8 and 1. And I'm going to add on T lots of negative 8, 15. So the position vector of B at any given point will be 34.8 minus 8t and 1 plus 15t. Now you can either write it in that form or you can put it back into the unit base vectors. This was only worth one mark for getting these two values for the position vectors at any given time, which is the whole main point of the question really. So, What's the condition for them to collide? They'd have to get to the same point. The position RA would be the same as the position RB. The vector RA would equal the vector RB. They'd be at the same place. They would take to the same place. And for these two vectors to be the same, it means all their bits must be the same. So taking the X components, that means that 1.2 plus 48T must be the same as 34.8 minus 8T. And at the same time, these have to be the same. 1.6 plus 14t should have to equal 1 plus 15t. So it's just a case of solving them and seeing if you get the same value of t for both. So they're at the same place at the same time. Well, bringing that 8 across here makes that a 56t. Bringing that across makes that a 33.6. I'll bring that that way. T equals an easy one. So there's an answer, 0.6. If this comes to 0.6, you're in business. Well, the boats won't be because they'll be collided, but we'll have proved that they're going to collide. And it comes to 0.6. So there we go. Now it's just a case of how can I write down my answer? Well, TA equals TB, which means boats collide. Now effectively, there were so marks for finding the 0.6 and making the solution, but effectively the marks were just for the two independent calculations and showing that they were the same. Now for the last mark, what's the location of this collision? Well, you can just put that time of 0.6 into either of these position vectors. So if I use this one here then, I've got this. RA is going to be, I'll just put it down this way, 1.2 plus 48 times 0 0.6 and 1.6 plus 14 times 0 0.6. And then I'll just, because it's only one mark, then it's just a case of working that out and putting the answer down. So that one comes to 30 and that comes to 10. And that's the last mark. Now, there were a couple of alternatives to part B in order to show that they collided, one way would be to find the relative position of B compared to A. In other words, to find this vector here. And then if that vector ever got to zero, you know they collide. So the first part would still have been to find these two, to find RA and RB. I've lost RB a wee bit there. And then you could have got the position of B relative to A would be RB minus RA. So just subtracting them the way they are here then, that would give this vector, and again, I'm just going to keep it in this form because it gets a bit messy with all the I's and J's. So that would be 34.8, take away that, is that's that 33.6. Should have kept that part down below now. And this part here would be 
negative 56. So I kept them. And this part here is going to be negative 0 0.6 plus t. And they would collide if that equals 0. Collision means r b relative to a, or you could have done a relative to b, equals the zero vector. So there's a mark for doing that, and that was just a case of equating these two things to zero, which was the same as these two parts that are rubbed out. So that would mean that the 33.6 minus 56 t should equal zero, and that negative 0 0.6 plus t should equal zero, and in both cases, because it was the same calculation, t would equal 0 0.6. But most of the work was done in finding those position vectors in the first place, so there's not much to choose between them. Now, there is one other way, but I'm not going to do it, which is to say this. If these boats hold the same relative direction with respect to each other, because you've got a large triangle, if you've got this triangle here, if the relative position vector stays in the same direction as it was originally, just like sides going up the triangle, then eventually that means they must collide. So that if the relative position vector here is a multiple of the original displacement AB, that means they collide. But I'm not going to bother doing that one because it's taken long enough already.